streaming is in high demand right now, and rightfully so. The internet is flooded with different options and opinions, so perhaps you've been wondering, where do I even start? Our helpful tip today will provide you with the direction you need to make a crucial decision about the foundation of your entire streaming system. When streaming your content to the world, you have two options as to how to deliver it, hardware encoding or software encoding. Hardware encoding uses a dedicated piece of equipment that encodes and streams your content without the need for a computer, while software encoding is a program on your computer that encodes and streams your content. So what are the pros and cons of these two options? There are three main pros to software encoding. The first is affordability. Some of the most popular programs are actually free. So if you have a computer and a streaming software, you can go live to the world. Flexibility is the second big pro. These software solutions can also provide input switching, effects, graphics, and lower thirds overlays, and much more. Software encoding is also very customizable. You can easily change streaming types and bit rates, as well as a bunch of other things. Sounds too good to be true? Well. That's why there's a cons list. The big con of software encoding is definitely dependence. Remember a minute ago when I said if you have a computer and a streaming software, you can go live to the world? Well, there's a big caveat. Your software encoding is only as good as your computer. So you can have all of these great features, but if your computer is not up to the task, you'll not have a good result. The pros of hardware encoding are quite simple, performance and reliability. Hardware encoders are built to do one thing, and that's encode. They aren't bogged down by any system processes in the background or relying on shared resources from a computer. They can also provide much lower latency, so your live content is actually live. The cons of hardware encoding are simple, cost and flexibility. These encoders start at several hundred dollars and go up into the thousands of dollars. But when you factor in the cost of a powerful computer for encoding, is it really any different? Many hardware encoders also aren't very flexible. They do one thing and do it one way. So you will need additional hardware components to accomplish any other tasks. After reviewing these pros and cons, tell us below which encoding option you find to be a better fit for your situation. If you have any questions or feedback or even any other topics you'd like us to cover, be sure to hit us up in the comments below. And as always, like, share, and subscribe.